what's a young earth here, uh, you know, is young for us, but it's ancient for uh, the edge of the universe. Uh, and that's, that, that's an interesting book. It uses general relativity and so forth, which is mind-bending to say the least. Uh, but it's an interesting idea. I, I just want to make something clear. It's actually unfortunate that pretty much everything you just said about Big Bang cosmology is incorrect. The yeah. is a cosmologist at Harvard for graduate school. It is not the case that, that the Big Bang theory contradicts special relativity. There are no massive objects in the universe traveling faster than light. That's exactly true. That's absolutely, and that's actually not true. That's actually not true. That's the, the reason Davies wants it. You could probably, you could take a class called Physics 121, which I teach, and I will explain to you actually what happened in the Big Bang. And much of what he has just said in the last five minutes, I just talked to my students about yesterday, and if there's anyone here from that class, they can explain to you, maybe when we have more time, that every single statement that he just made is a, is a falsification of what the Big Bang cosmology said. And he also seems to say that, well, there's black holes in which time runs at different rates. That's correct. Time does run at different rates near black holes. But the vast, vast majority of the universe is not made of black holes. And the time in which, the rate in which time runs in flat space time, which is the vast majority of the universe, is exactly the rate in which it runs here on Earth. But see, what he's assuming, what he's assuming, he's assuming that the, uh, you know, the density of distribution of the universe has always been the same, which can't be true. That's not the uh, and it, it, it's really, it's a, it's a freshman level uh, conceptual physics course for liberal arts students. There is no mathematical prerequisite. Physics 121, you can take it, we'll discuss this, I'll give you the exact evidence for why physicists believe this. And I would recommend that you read and I would recommend that you read the book Starlight and Time because that guy's a general relativist, spent his whole life doing it, and he has produced books that are actually written by scientists and that are peer reviewed. And that book has been peer reviewed by other general relativists as well. Oh yes, absolutely it has. It's not I, I wish you would have agreed to debate me, because this would have been a nice debate. Amen. <laughs> No, no, no. Now, you know, I, you know, see, see, now this is what, this is what, this, yeah, yeah, this, this is unfortunate because all I'm trying to do is do some science education. All he wants to do is call people names. That's truly unfortunate because I would, I would simply like, you know, if, if we, if we were able to debate, perhaps we would all learn something, but unfortunately he won't let it happen. Purposely misleading people by manipulating facts is purposely misleading people by manipulating facts. That's not what's happening here. That is exactly what's happening here. We're going to go on anyway to the, the, anyway to the next part. Like Send me some. Okay. okay. We, got, we got to move on to the next hour's worth of topics because we're about 20 minutes behind. So we got some pizza for folks. Thank you very much for talking to us. Um, that's unfortunate. And what we're going to do is Mark's going to give you some information about what the, how that's going to work with the pizza.